Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your week, uh, your weekly reading. Yes, this is exactly what I'm doing. Weekly reading, my goodness. It's all happening. The image I got for you was you shot your bow, you charged forward to see where it landed and you're like, where is it? Where's it gone? It's gone somewhere unexpected, somewhere different. And so it kind of feels like, ah, that's interesting. So I feel like something that you were planning this week or an, a goal that you, and this doesn't feel like a bad thing, something that you kind of set an intention or a goal that this is what you wanted to happen. And it feels a little bit like, oh, I'll just try this out. I'll just shoot it and see where it goes kind of thing. Uh, but it's because it's landed somewhere very differently. It's hooked you in a little bit. So you're a little bit intrigued. And so I think like the universe is kind of saying, explore this further. So there's something to be explored further this week that perhaps you didn't take that seriously at first but or someone, but maybe the universe is kind of adding a bit of mystery to it, which is making it a little bit more intriguing and interesting, Saji. Now, the good thing is about this week is that we're moving into Leo season. So this is going to be moving into fire, which uh, is going to be a very uh, compatible energy for you guys being fire as well. So this is your little message to start the reading. We'll move our little hand here, hand of Buddha. I love life, it says. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I'm glad to be alive. I love life. So, and there is this sense of uh, joyful freedom and adventure that comes with this, like just trying something new out and then getting some different results than expected, but that just makes you want to go down that path even further and explore it even, even further. And the universe is wanting you to do this. So yeah, interesting. Let's see the situation that's coming in for you, Saggy. So let's see what's coming through for Sagittarius. We have quite a few. <laughs> okay, let's see the Ace of Crystals, Manifestation, Prosperity. So I'm going to pull these apart so there's two each. Okay, so this is the equivalent of the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Crystals. We can see that beautiful panda. There's something that is starting this week. So I feel like you kind of by setting, by trying something or thinking about something and it kind of landed in a different spot, it started something new. And this new thing could lead to something that could be making money or some kind of prosperity. So prosperity is not just purely money, but it feels like there's something very fortunate about this. So the start of this, a good, the other fortunate thing, so there's a bit of luck coming your way here, is that the three of acorns has the foresight. <laughs> I love this giraffe. It's like, it's like, you know, you can see further ahead and you go, okay, I wanted to see where this is going, okay? So I've got the foresight to look forward and I want to explore it even further. But I would like to kind of see at least where this is going or at least where the arrow is going to land. So, yeah, interesting. So let's see what else we've got here. We've got, oh, nine of acorns, power and perseverance. So the universe is saying, yeah, look, I mean, have a good look around, see what you can see, what opportunities are around there, where you think something could be going, but stick with it once you see that something is worth exploring and you have the foresight to see that. This is where it says this beautiful black panther here is just like stick with it. This is something powerful that's been gifted to you that is unexpected. It kind of you stumble across the path and it's like, oh, wasn't expecting that. And we've also got five of feathers, strategy and resilience. So it's like strap yourselves in, put your tough hide on, put your shell on like the armadillo. You're ready to go for this. So it was kind of like I wasn't taking it necessarily that seriously, but now I see that there's a lot of opportunity or potential with this new uh place or direction I find myself in. And so the universe is saying, yeah, we wanted you to be here. It's unexpected, but it's kind of kind of like you may not have found yourself in this place if you had intended to be there. It's kind of like, but the universe wanted you to kind of be in this exploratory mode where you found yourself somewhere and then you've landed something that felt really powerful. And it's like, okay, now I'm ready to commit to this. So it is asking for a commitment that's coming through and it's saying, well, you know, next time you shoot the arrow, you are, if you're going to commit to this, you might need to have a bit of a strategy and a plan. 
<laughs> so, yeah, get ready for some resilience because uh, this is something that's going to take you down some interesting paths, some unknown paths, but it's where the universe wants you to go. So it also feels... Uh, it feels like the right path. So let's see what's shifting for you this week, Sagittarius. Let's see if anything's shifting because the cards are not shifting themselves. Nothing. Oh, just as I said that, they're going to prove me wrong. Okay. One, three, Sun, Aries. Okay. So the one, three, Sun, Aries is really interesting because it's kind of the card of initial results and expectations. It can be like, I put some few things out there and I'm waiting for my ships to come back in and see what results I get. So this is where you're getting unexpected shifts in results. Things are shifting in the results that you're getting. So uh, if you're not getting great results, you could end up getting really good results. If you are getting really good results, it might not necessarily mean you're going to get bad results, but it might mean you might get different results that might head you down a, a certain path. So be really aware of the kind of results that you're getting this week. It's going to be shown really clearly that a re there's an unexpected result that comes in that leads you down a new path that it, the universe wants you to commit to. So let's see where what's unfolding in this story for the week for you Sagittarius and see where this is all going so I kind of feel like there's this real optimism as well with this it's kind of like yeah well if I'm doing this I'm doing it so I'm going to strap on all my armor strap on all my weapons get my get my serious head on and I'm going to go for it so we've got the queen of wands okay this is the Leo energy coming in so that's about being very very discerning as well so, uh, yeah, you may have been in this like happy go lucky exploratory mode, but once you decide to commit to it, you need to be discerning the four of cups. There's something on offer you're not sure about emotionally. So that's another thing to kind of be discerning about, but eh, look who turns up the wheel of fortune. This is Jupiter, your ruler. Now it's getting that sense as well because Jupiter is in Aries at the moment in time wanting to bring you um, and it's also, you know, in another fire energy. So there's going to be this lovely trine here. We can see it with the three between Jupiter, Aries and Leo. The sun in Leo, uh, Jupiter in Aries and then just you Sagittarius over here because you're fire and you're ruled by uh, Jupiter. So there's this lovely sense of a lovely trine happening where things can become a little bit easier with this energy. Things might start to flow. And so the Wheel of Fortune is wanting to expand something uh, and this could be a relationship that's coming in or it's saying there's something on offer here. You might have been feeling a bit ambivalent or bored or not sure about it, but Jupiter and the Queen of Wands are coming in saying, well, this could expand into something bigger and better and deeper. Do you want this? You need to kind of make that decision. Uh, the Five of Cups, because you might have to say goodbye to something, goodbye to something from the past uh, in order to do that because you're moving on. This is the, the card of Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands, into this positive shift, okay? So you're making taking this positive action forward. So that's why the Hermit Energy is saying, like it all seems very much like the Knight of Wands, you know, we're off having this lovely like just uh, going with the flow adventure and see what happens. But the Hermit Energy is saying that there's actually this is something that you potentially have been thinking deeply about or you are going to or you need to think deeply about. It's a wise decision. There's wide cho wise choices. So this is where I feel like you're going to feel this on a real physical level. It's great to spend some time thinking about it as well. Take some time out and have a deep thought because, yeah, Jupiter wants to come in and expand something for you and you really need to know whether that's something that you want or not. And I feel like it definitely could be related to a relationship here for a lot of you because we've got the emotions. It's about how emotionally invested you are in something. So and how much deeper do you want it to go because there's an opportunity for that to happen here. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, very much where it might be, this is kind of where I feel like you're getting some different results and you're taken a little bit in this unexpected direction. But and to at the outside world, it may seem like you're just kind of, you know, landing where you're landing. But internally, you've, you're kind of really getting this real sense, physical sense, uh, this wisdom, connecting in with your inner wisdom of the hermit energy of really just this sense that this is the right thing to be doing or not. So uh, listen to that. Listen to that message that's coming through. 
So let's see. <laughs> we have as your animal energy, we've got the crocodile. So this is where it's kind of like a liminal space. You're in between worlds. You're not the crocodile's not on land. It's kind of half in land, half in water. So it's kind of half in. And that's what this Four of Cups is saying, that something's emotionally on, on offer here uh, and you kind of might be going, I mm, mm, uh, don't know about it. Um, so, and this is where the crocodile waits. You know, it's got something on the, something there to kind of think, mm, is this what I want? Let's see what this is. The spider, okay. So I like the spider coming in for you because this is where, you could be very sensitive to vibrations, to things shifting and changing. Very, very small vibrations and you'll notice it in other people. Uh, a subtle change in a relationship, a subtle change in the winds of change, a subtle change in somebody else that you're, you're going, hmm, a subtle change in a work situation or a dynamic or an opportunity. And so you're very sensitive to this as well with this spider energy. And it's a sense of waiting, waiting, waiting for the time to be right, to uh, create the opportunity that you need because the spider energy is all about the network as well, the people around you that, uh, that can be far reaching. There could be something really creative that you could be making here that is online or is, you know, going to reach out to, to create, a lot of connections. It's kind of got, it's very connected. It's like the spider, the web is very, it feels like something fragile, but it's something very, very strong and necessary here, this web. And so, yeah, it's interesting, the spider and the crocodile. I just get, you're creating something quite amazing here. You're really sensitive. So wait until the time is right to strike for this opportunity, for the thing that feels right for you. So the universe is presenting it to you, saying this is something that could go bigger, deeper, stronger, more fulfilling for you. Do you want it? And then have a think about it because the results are potentially going to shift and change and the dynamics are potentially going to shift and change. And the interesting thing about the crocodile is it's a real survivor energy. It hasn't changed over time, over the millennia of time. It hasn't needed to change because it was kind of a perfect formula in the first place. Uh, so it didn't necessarily need to change or a part of you didn't need to change. But now in comes this sense that something's shifting and changing, the vibrations and the frequencies are changing. So to uh, just be really open to that, it's kind of... Uh, quite an energetic shift that I think you'll notice, but I keep getting that you'll notice it first through other people, through your body, your physical reaction. Sometimes you'll get like goosebumps when someone's around or someone will say something and just get this feeling that that's significant. So listen to all of them because they're the things that are kind of pointing you and guiding you this week in the right direction. And like I said, the universe is uh, opened up this new path to you, offering it to you and asking if this is something you really want. So because if you do, you do know you have to commit to this uh, and it potentially with Jupiter on its side with the Wheel of Fortune, this could be something that could end up being something bigger and, and expands. it's an expansion um, of energies that you've been asked to step into. So yeah, interesting, interesting week. Uh, Sagittarius. So that's it. That's your week. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time.